Hello guys, today I'm going to answer two questions that I get often. They are fitness related. So let's get into them. The first one is, what are my thoughts about protein bars? I do not recommend people taking protein bars because they are very palatable. They have a lot of ingredients that makes us in the end to eat more. My clients have done the experiment and they realize that even though they are eating more protein, uh, they after eating, you don't feel so satisfied. So that's one of the reasons why I do not recommend. I only recommend people taking protein bars if they go on a trip and they will really find it difficult to, one, get food and second, get protein. And that would be pretty much the only reason why I would recommend you to take it. Otherwise, it can be a problem because some of them have a lot of sugar and you should pay attention to that. The problem with that as well is that sometimes they also have a lot of fat. But even though if the protein bars would not be with a lot of sugar and a lot of fat, they still have a lot of ingredients that makes it very palatable. And as I was saying, when you have a lot of combination of ingredients, it stimulates too much your tongue and your neurons in the brain and it makes you to eat more in the end. So that's the answer to that question. Now the other question is, what do I think about BCAs? And usually my non-clients ask me if I recommend people taking BCAs. And my clients ask me why I don't recommend them to take BCAs. So by now you kind of figure it out that I don't recommend people taking BCAs, but why? First of all, what are BCAAs? BCAAs stands for branched chain amino acids and their main composition is around leucine, isoleucine and valine. And basically those three things are amino acids. It's what you can call high quality protein. A lot of people, especially, you know, these big guys that you see at the gym or Instagram influencers, you, you see them taking BCAs and all that and there are some reasons behind it. I will not discuss those things in this video but one of them is because they get benefits in selling that and because they also get it for free. So why I do not recommend people taking BCAAs? First of all, you can get BCAAs just by taking whey powder for example would be one answer to that and whey powder is a lot cheaper but even before that if you are my client for example I will make sure that you are eating the right amount of protein on a daily basis and as soon as you are eating the right amount of protein per day you do not need to take BCA especially a more expensive version of protein because it will not bring you any benefit especially when, again, it's costing you quite a bit of money for no extra results. The studies that have been done with BCAAs basically are around people who do not have the necessary intake of protein. So guess what? If you don't take enough quantity of protein, when you increase the protein intake, you will get benefits. That's why BCAAs will have an effect on those people. And honestly, that's how many studies are conducted. Basically, people are, they have some insufficiency, they give them the supplement, and guess what? Now you have good results. Of course you have, because you were deficient. But if you have certain foundations, if you have a good diet, most of the supplements will not make any difference for you. The list of supplements that I recommend to my clients is so short that you would be amazed. Well guys, I hope the video was beneficial to you. If you have any questions, leave them on the comments below and I see you in the next video. Take care.